Welcome back my exotic family and welcome to another video here on the channel. Today we're going to be delving into the awesome world of rattlesnakes. So stay tuned with me as we go over five facts about the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. What's going on guys? I'm Josue from Josue's Exotics and on this channel we like to make videos about reptiles and amphibians and today we got a very special video for you guys. Today is going to be a video about Mr. Shaky we got right here. This is my Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake and I came in the venomous room today to give you guys a little video and do some cleaning and things as well and I know it's been a while since I did a little five facts video so I figured why not? Let's go ahead and roll it on out, man. So this is for fact number one, the world's largest species of rattlesnake and North America's largest venomous snake. And that is the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake or scientifically known as the Crotalus adamantius. So I figured for the first part for the fact number one, we could pull the snake out and get a couple good shots of them and get them put into our safety bucket because I do have to clean out some spicy meatballs in the cage over here, as always. So this, guys, is the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. This is the Crotalus animantius, and this is the largest venomous snake in North America and the world's largest venomous rattlesnake, guys. And this snake is one of the few snakes that can get up to eight feet in length and there have been some individuals that have been known to grow a little bit bigger but this is an awesome specimen that i hear i love my snake to death but let's go ahead and get these spicy meatballs cleaned out because we got some we gotta get out of there moving on to fact number two about the eastern diamondback rattlesnake they have a super high potent venom so this is snake you need to take the utmost care with because there's a lot of necrotizing factors and hemorrhagic factors. So you're gonna definitely have a little bit of blood clotting issues. You're gonna have swelling. You're gonna have a little bit of necrosis. Whole lot of bad stuff. Not gonna be okay. Little picture over here on the left side of the screen. But always take extreme precaution. And if you don't know what you're messing with, do not mess with these snakes. Leave it to the professionals. Now let's get. Some So now that we got our cage put back together, we can go ahead and get our Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake back into the cage, and we can go with fact number four. So the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake is a keystone species, and they play a super vital role in the ecosystem and maintain populations and prevent overpopulation and other things like that. And I got an awesome definition of the keystone species over here on the left side of the screen so you get a better understanding of what that is and how that plays a role in wildlife management as well. But let's go ahead and get our Easter Diamondback friend out of our can here. And we can show you our snake friend here real quick. And we gotta get him back into his home. As soon as I can get a better grip on him here. But yeah guys, that is the Eastern Diamondback. We got him safely on the hook and we're gonna get him back into his domicile just like so and lock him on up. So for our last fact for the video is that they have their own threats to survival. And despite their resilience, the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake State faces numerous threats to their survival, including habitat loss, human encroachment, road mortality, but conservation efforts are essential to safeguarding these magnificent creatures and preserving their natural habitats for generations to come. So there you go, guys. Five facts about the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. Remember to always respect these majestic creatures and stay a safe distance if you ever happen to encounter one in the wild. So 
Appreciate you guys stopping by. Make sure if you want to see more content like this, hit that like button down below and subscribe to the video and content. Guys, I'll be here on the next one.